Hello and welcome to this date in history, also known as TDH. This show is uh, about all the events. Uh, hold on, let me try that again. This show is all about the events that occurred to date in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things that we personally find intriguing enough for us to bring to you. The sources of this information comes from the smart device application Today in History. What happened today in history? The historical calendar. And the website on this day.com. For links to those sources, the music, and anything else potentially interesting that we gather throughout, you know, or whatever, uh, check the underbar in the description below. Anyway, I am A.O. Xander. I'm me. And uh, today is Thor's Day, also known as Thursday, May 19th, 2022. 639. As Hina just see here. And his tribesmen assaulted Emperor Taizong at Ju Singer Palace. Hmm. What? Seven fifth oh, continue. Oh, I was just gonna say they assaulted an emperor, that's that's gonna go one of two ways. <laughs> so Yeah. Seven fifteen Pope Gregory the Second is elected. Ah. Ten fifty one John the second of Castile defeat Oh no. Henry the first of France marries the Rus Princess Anna Kiev. Ah. Fourteen forty five, John the Second of Castile defeated the Infantes of Aragon at the first battle of Almedo. Infants Infants Infantes. What's an infantee? Is it like let me look that up. Infantes. And of course, Google has to uh, lag. Well, I guess we're not going to figure that out. Oh well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, in 1499, Catherine of Aragon was married by proxy to Arthur, Prince of Wales. Catherine was 13 and Arthur was 12 at the time. Ugh. Okay. What the hell? 1530. Yeah, I know. That was more accepted back then, but doesn't mean that. I well, they're 12 it. and 13. So it's just two teenagers. Well, a teenager and a tween. Yeah, it's still. They're, they're kids, bro. Like, it could be worse. Yeah, they could be that five-year-old who gave birth. Ugh. Actually, no, it's, just a, it's an arranged marriage, pretty much. You're saying they're they're going to get married at some point, I'm guessing. Well, they, they were married, but they were married by proxy, which means that like yeah. they weren't actually physically together. But, yeah. you know, but they were married. So, but yeah, they, that arranged marriage thing, I understand what all that did, but still. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, 1535, French explorer Jacques Cartier set sail on his second voyage to North America with three ships, 110 men, and Chief uh, Don Acona's two sons, whom Cartier had kidnapped during his first voyage. Oh, nice, he's bringing them back. What a pleasant guy. Uh. Wow. I believe it's your turn. Okay. Uh, 1536, Anne Boleyn, the second wife of Henry VIII of England, is beheaded for adultery, treason, and incest. Oh, dang. So today is the day. 1643, 30 years war. Uh, you missed French 1542. Forces. 1542, the Prom Kingdom falls to the Tengu Dynasty in present-day Myanmar. Huh. 1643, 30 years war, French forces under the Duke in Inhain decided to defeat Spanish forces at the Battle of Rokyo, marking the symbolic end in of Spain as the dominant land power. Dang. Yeah, I, I always wondered, like, when Spain was, you know, prevalent, because at one point they were, and I wondered uh, what caused them to stop, but yeah, this is what it did. Moving on up to 1649, an act of parliament declaring England a commonwealth was passed by the Long Parliament. England would be a republic for the next 11 years. Uh, six years later, in 1655, the invasion of Jamaica began during the Anglo-Spanish War. Why would anybody invade Jamaica? Come on. Well, he has beautiful landscapes. That is true. I... 
And then in 1743, Jean-Pierre Christian developed the centigrade temperature scale. Ah, cool. Now, I wonder what's the difference between Celsius and centigrade. I know there's a difference, but, uh... There's... there's, there's... Se 1776, American Revolutionary War, a continental army garrison surrendered in the Battle of the Setters. Hmm. So that's a small loss to a huge win. Yeah. 1780... New England's dark day and unusual darkening of the sky was observed over the New England states and parts of Canada. So, don't like an eclipse. Hmm. New England's dark day. Let me uh, let me look that up. What caused it? New England's dark day. Come on, Google. Why are you lagging today? Let's go. Well, I guess we're not going to find out. Oh, wait, here we go. Um, the primary cause of the event is believed to have been a combination of smoke from forest fires, a thick fog, and clown co cloud cover. Not clown cover. <laughs> Can you imagine a bunch of clowns just floating in the sky, ominously? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's called Pennywise. Oh, God. England had a uh, outbreak of Pennywise. Man, why, why is the internet being so laggy today? Well, according to the lore... He's been around since those times. Yeah, well, apparently he, he crashed to Earth like millions of years ago, and then he awoke uh, because of yeah, human from a giant turtle. Oh, His yeah. boss is a giant. His enemy is a giant turtle. Oh yeah, uh, that that goes into like some kind of mythology that like what Norse mythology or something, or I think so. Like who believes that uh, the whole world is on the back of a turtle or something like that? So. I don't know. The, the, world, the world is not on a turtle. The world's not flat. The world's thick as fuck. <laughs> oh, please don't start talking about Earth Chan. Uh, 800, in 1802, Napoleon Bonaparte founded the Legion of Honor. Nice. And, okay. Um, ironic. The, ironic? Yeah, the idea of, you know. Honor? Uh, yeah. Well, this is honor, which is weird because that's how the British spells it, and um, yeah, that's, the English, that's the English way of saying it. Yeah, so why would the French, you know, spell it that way? So I think why it's not? more of a spit in the eye. Anyway, eighteen twenty-eight, U.S. President John Quincy Adams signed the tariff of eighteen twenty-eight into law, protecting wood manufacturers in the United States. You, you, wait, what? You'll be wool? What? You, 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 you saw it's not wool? Wool. Oh, oops, sorry. Wool manufacturers. Thank you. Protecting wool manufacturers. Well, I guess the wool was loggers. over my eyes with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, loggers need uh, help too, you know, also. So do cannabis growers. No, they need to stop smoking their own shit. Don't get high on your own supply. There's a difference between... Um, uh, no. Well, I, I meant to hemp, not cannabis. Hemp. But yeah, you're right. Man, I'm just screwing up all over the board today, aren't I? 1845, Captain Sir... Okay, yeah, Captain Sir John Franklin and his ill-fated Arctic expedition depart from Green Hittick, England. Hmm. What a name. Yeah. 1848, Mexican-American War, Mexican, Mexico, I mean, Mexico ratifies the Treaty of Guadalupe, Hidalgo thrust in in the war and seen California, Nevada, Utah, and parts of the four other modern-day U.S. states to the United States for $15 million. Dang. What was $15 well, million dollars worth in 1848? Let's see here. Money calculator. Thanks to, thanks to them, we have the four corners. Yeah. Um, well, two of the uh, four corners. 1848. One million. Let's see here. One million dollars in 1848. Uh, has a relative inflated worth of uh, $37,792,026.14 today. So what's that? times 15 so let me see this times 15 oh god so essentially today it would be 
over half a billion dollars. $566,880,392.10. For what? <laughs> yeah, that's the appropriate sound. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What, a hiccup? Yeah, it's just a fucking... Because that's a lot of money, dude. Uh, let's see here. You have one more. Okay. 1883, Buffalo Bill's first Buffalo Bill Wild West opens in Omaha, Nebraska. That sounds like a restaurant, but it's got to be something else. Uh, no, it was Wild Bill Hickok that I was thinking of. So Buffalo Bill. So what's Buffalo Bill's Wild West? Let me see here. It might be a restaurant. Let's see if the internet lags. No, it doesn't. Uh, it is a book. Um, okay. But, cool. Uh, 1883. Let me see if... No. 18... No. Okay. 1883. Um... The Wild West went from a semi-authentic de depiction of the experiences Cody and some of his performers had known. Okay, so it's a show. Wait, no, this is on PBS. Okay, well, yeah. I don't know. This like, is... Google's not helping me at all. So, I might actually switch to Bing. Who knows? Uh, Buffalo, you might get instant death. Yeah. Oh, just like a heart attack grill? Where if you're, what is it, if you're over 400 pounds, you get 350 free? pounds, eat free. Damn. Anyway, I'm going to take us up to the year 1900, in which Great Britain annexed Tonga Island. And then also in 1900, during the Second Boer War, British troops relieved Mafeking. Uh, okay, I guess that's a city or something. And then 11 years later, in 1911, which is 111 years ago... Uh, Parks Canada, the world's first National Park Service, was established as the Dominion Parks Branch under the Department of the Interior. Hmm. So In 1911, no, uh, no, 1919. Parks Canada, oh, 1919, Mustafa, Caramel, Atarak, lands at Samson, on the Anatola Black Sea coast, initiating what is later termed as the Turkish War of Independence. Oh. Fun fact, Mustafa means chosen one. Huh. Well. Like for real, it does. Yeah, I believe you. Uh, 1921, the United States Congress passed the Emergency Quarter Act, establishing national quarters on immigration. Saying there's only a certain amount that can come in. Yeah. Well, that's out the window today. <laughs> what is it? Every day, like, 10,000 come over or something crazy? Like, it's... It's nuts. Like, I heard... Uh, um, I heard somewhere that if it already hasn't happened, it soon will happen. 20% of our entire nation will be illegal immigrants. That's one in every five people in this country are here illegally. That's... Oh, okay. I, I see what it is now. It actually shows like vaudeville, traveling vaudeville. Oh, uh, okay. You talking about uh, the Wild West thing? The, yeah. Yeah, I thought about that. Okay. Uh, this is not a uh, fucking restaurant. Yeah. Uh, who knows? It'd be cool to to go to like you, you know how they have like uh like um like uh, the dinner and a show for like you know pirates or. Uh, or nights or something like you know they do that at uh, Excalibur in Vegas. Uh, there's mm -hmm. a night show somewhere out here. You know you can have dinner and a show. I wonder if they have something like that with cowboys. You know if they have like a gunfight. You know in the center of like a, a coliseum type thing. You know. Okay. Uh, no. 1922, the Young Pioneer Organization of the Soviet Union was established. Once again, corrupt governments using children. So. I believe it's your turn. Mm -hmm. 1933, Finnish Cavalry General G. 
CGE Mannerheim was appointed field marshal. His full name was Carl Gustav Emil Mannerheim, just for those interested. I would have preferred that than that. Uh, 1934, Zimbro and the Bulgarian army engineered a coup d'etat and installed Kimon Gigorovic as the new prime minister of Bulgaria. Damn, engineer. Hey. Huh. 1942, World War II in the aftermath of the Battle of the Coral Sea Task Force 16 heads to Pearl Harbor. Hmm, so I'm guessing they need repairs and such. Yeah. Three years later, 1945, Syrian demonstrators in Damascus were fired upon by French troops, injuring 12 of them, leading to the Levant Crisis. Five years later, in 1950, Egypt announced that the Suez Canal was closed to Israeli ships and commerce, as it should be. Also in 1950, a barge containing munitions des uh, designed for Pakistan or destined for Pakistan exploded in the harbor at South Amboy, New Jersey, devastating the city. Oof. Oh, maybe we shouldn't be sending uh, munitions to Pakistan. You know how about that? 1959, the North Vietnamese Army establishes Group 559, whose responsibility is to determine how to maintain supply lines to South Vietnam and result in the route to Ho Chi Minh Trail. So that's how the Ho Chi Minh Trail was created. Which went through Cambodia, but, caused all sorts of political strife during the whole Vietnam you know, thing, and it's just... Yeah. 1961. Venera program, Venera 1 becomes the first man-made object to fly by another planet and passing Venus. The probe lost contact with Earth a month earlier and did not send back any data. So we presume that it did. I mean, most likely yeah. it did, you know, due to trajectory, so. But that's that's interesting. Also 1961, at Tiochar Railway Station, the Psalm 11 Bengalis die when police open fire on protests demanding state recognition of Bengali language in the Bengali language movement. Yeah. Well, that just further proves the point. It doesn't matter what language you speak, a bullet sounds the same in every one of them. But that's that's awful. You know, they just want representation, you know, with further language and they get shot and murdered. You know, that's awful. It's just awful. 365 days later, in 1962, a birthday salute to U.S. President John F. Kennedy took place at Madison Square Garden in New York City. The highlight was Marilyn Monroe's rendition of Happy Birthday. One year later, in 1963, the New, York's, uh, the New York Post Sunday Magazine published Martin Luther King Jr.'s letter from Birmingham Jail. That's cool. In 1971, during the Mars Pro program, Mars 2 was launched by the Soviet Union. Wow, so the Russians, uh, the Soviets were really going everywhere. I, I didn't know they went to Mars 2. Well, that's... Your turn, sir. 1986, the Firearms Owners Protection Act is signed into law by U.S. President Ronald Reagan. Ah. Let me look this up here. Firearm Owners Protection Act. Um, well, it's not telling me exactly. Uh, well, it is. Like, you know, I'm not going to read all this. I'm just going to post this link in the underbar for those interested. I'm sorry. Continue, sir. 1991. Croatians vote for independence in a referendum. Hmm. 1993. Sam Columbia Flight 501 crash up mm, approach to San no, for Jose Maria Covarda International Airport in Mandolin, Colombia, killing 132 people. Dang. Uh, I lost a year. Uh, I was I scrolled up for a second to try to fix something. What year were we on? We're in 1990. Yeah, we're in 1996 now. Uh, okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, 1996 Space Shuttle Program, Space Shuttle Endeavor, was launched on mission STS-77. One year later, in 1997, the Sierra Gorda Biosphere, the most ecolo or ecologically diverse region in Mexico, was established as a result of grassroots efforts. Nice. 
Very nice. It reminds me of uh, Cerro Gordo, which is uh, a cool little ghost town I'd like to go visit and volunteer at at one point. Taking us up into the next millennium in the year 2000, the Space Shuttle program saw Space Shuttle Atlantis launched on mission STS-101 to, uh, to resupply the International Space Station, a.k.a. ISS. Your turn, sir. Two thousand seven president of Romania, Tiram Bescus, survives an impeachment referendum and returns to office from suspicion. Hmm. Two thousand ten, the Royal Thai Air Forces conclude its crackdown on protests by forcing the surrender of the United Front for Democracy against dictatorship leaders. 2012, a car bomb explodes near a military complex in the Syrian city of Deir Ezzor, killing nine people. Hmm. Also in 2012, three gas cylinder bombs exploded in front of our vocational school in the Italian city of Brindisi, killing one person and injuring five others. Yikes. Three years later, in 2015, the Refugio oil spill deposited 142,800 U.S. gallons, or 3,400 barrels, of crude oil into an area in California considered one of the most biologically diverse coastlines of the West Coast. Oh, rough. I don't remember that. I'm, I'm in California. So I should pay more attention to our coastlines. Why don't you take the last two here? 2016, Egypt Air Flight 804 crashes into the Mediterranean Sea while traveling from Paris to Cairo, killing all on board. Dang. 2018, the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle is held at St. George Chapel, Windsor, with an estimated global audience of 1.9 billion people. I just don't understand how people give a damn about royals, weddings, their children, you know? Like, oh my god, they had a baby. Oh my god, so did everybody else. Who cares? You know? What? A, I don't know. I guess I just don't like authority. Uh, before we get into person deaths here, uh, any articles grab your attention more than most? A lot of them like the letter from uh, MLK. I was going to say that, dude. Like <laughs> The Firearms Protection Act. Yeah. Um, I was also Venera thinking... Venera 1. Yeah, Venera 1. Also, uh, Russia landing on Mars. That was interesting. Mars 2. Or not landing on Mars, but they launched Mars 2. I don't know if they landed on Mars. I guess we'll see in, like, what, a week or so? How long does it take to get to Mars? Two weeks? Three weeks? I don't know. Anyway, let's get in a burst here. Um, why don't you start us off? Yeah. In 1400, John Stratton, first Baron Stratton, English soldier and politician. 1462, Bacchio Angelo, Italian woodcarver, sculptor, and architect. 1476, or 1474, Helena Moscow, Helena Moscow, Grand Duchess Consort of Lithuania and Queen Consort of Poland. Yeah, that's weird that they don't know the exact date. Uh, well, year year wise, 1476 or 1474, but uh, judging by the placement, most likely it's 1476. But you know, whatever. Doing a significant time jump here, going up into the year 1700, Jose D. Escandon, the first Count of Sierra Gorda, was a Spanish sergeant and politician who died in 1770. Did we talk about Sierra Gorda? No, Sarah Gorda. Something Gorda. Uh, I think we did. Yeah. 1880, Albert Richardson was an English architect and educator who designed the Manchester Opera House. He was born in 1964, and of course I have got to look up the Manchester Opera House. To see uh, what it looks like. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. It's kind of tucked in between other buildings, but uh, yeah, it's still pretty nifty. The interior is pretty cool. I'd like to go visit it one day. 
And then 18, 1881, and this is the official birth date, apparently, uh, we have Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, was a Turkish field marshal and statesman who was the first president of Turkey, who died in 1938. Okay. What's your on? What Eight, year? 1890. 1890, Ho Chi Minh, Vietnamese politician who was the first president of Vietnam. 1908, Manic Fire Party, Indian in author, poet, and playwright. 1925, Malcolm X, U.S. minister and activist. Three years later, 1928, Colin Chapman was born on the States. He was an English engineer and businessman who founded Lotus Cars, dying in 1982. 1929, we have Helmut Braunlich, was a German U.S. violinist and composer. What a name, Helmut. And in 2013, uh, they, they, they passed. I, don't, I, I can't tell uh, that's a male or female with that name. Then in 1921, we have Trevor Peacock was an English actor, screenwriter, and songwriter who died in 2021, last year. Was born in 1931. That's that's incredible. What is that? Uh, that's 90 years. Mm -hmm. uh, 1942, Gary Kidal, U.S. computer scientist who founded the Digital Research, Inc. 1946, Andre Rene Rusimov, better known as Andre the Giant, French U.S. wrestler and actor. Yes, he was an actor. He played Bigfoot in the Six Million Dollar Man episode. Well, he also played uh, the Giant. He played the Giant in uh, Princess, Princess Bride. Bride. Yeah. Of course, awesome. you know his full name. That's that's both uh, it's both awesome and unsurprising at the same time. <laughs> I think you have one more here. Yeah, 1953, Victoria Woodcarver, English actress, singer, director, and screenwriter. Okay. 1955, we have James Gosling, is a Canadian U.S. computer scientist who created Java. Rest in peace, Java. Wait, was it Java that's no longer a thing anymore? 2D Flash is. It was Flash, yeah, that's right. Flash, not Java. But still. In 1964, Peter Jackson uh, was an Australian rugby league player and sportscaster who died in 1997. Uh, in 1970, we have K.J. Choi. Full name is Choi Kyung Ju. Uh, he is a South Korean golfer. Nineteen seventy-five, London Fletcher, U.S. football player with a fucking name like that. Wow. Yeah, London Fletcher. <laughs> Nineteen ninety-two, Morris Mellet. I'm supposed to be Marshmallow. Sorry. Morris Mellow. Nineteen K, U.S. electronic music producer and DJ. 2003, Jojo Siwa, U.S. dance singer, actress, and YouTube personality. Now, I didn't know about these last two, although with Marshmallow, I recognized uh, his Marshmallow face thing, so that's... I don't know who Jojo Siwa is. Nobody hey, important. It, well, uh, YouTubers gotta recognize each other, so... Anyway, moving on in the deaths, we start off in 804. Uh, Al Shuin was an English monk scholar. Oh, it was an English monk and scholar born in 735. 956, Robert was an archbishop of Trier. Birth is unknown. And 988, Dunstan, an English archbishop and saint who was born in 909. You'll see, like, I have, like, a preparation for a mini rant there after your first one there. So, or actually, I'll take this one. And it'll make my mini rant, and then you can have four after that. 1102, we have Stephen, Count of Blois, who was born in 1045. Now, I'm wondering, because, like, I saw these first three, and everybody has first names, and then everybody has titles. So, like, I'm just wondering, when did last names become a thing? And did we use titles 
as you know like uh, a beta form of last names before we moved into last names like how did all of that evolve you know so that's that's a that's a uh, that's a thought process there anyway mm -hmm. why don't you take uh, the next four just to balance things out 13 you know 1303, St. Avil of Carmen, Carmarton, French canon lawyer. I wonder what a canon lawyer is. What is a canon? Someone who defends canons when they misfire. <laughs> um, it says here, canon law is a set of ordinances and regulations made by uh, ecclesiastical authority for the government of a Christian organization or church and its members. So it's a, he's a church lawyer. Okay. I'm going to add this into the uh, underbar. Go ahead. Uh, who else died today in 1936? 1936. Or 1396. I... 1396, John I of Aragon. No, it's not Aragon. <laughs> 1526, Emperor Go Kisa Wabara, Japanese Emperor. Every time I see those those names, like uh, whatever Go something, it always it always sounds like another like like RPG or something. Like there's so many ones with bad names out there. Like who the hell names their game Adventure Quest? What a what a boring blase name, you know? Well, that's the four. So ah, okay. 1750, Charles Montague, the first Earl of Halifax, was an English poet and politician who was also a Chancellor of the Exquisitor. Uh, and I forgot to put his birth in, so let me look that up real quick. Charles Montague, the first of Earl of Halifax. Who was he born? Uh, born in 1661, so let me add that in real quick. Birth, 1661. All right. 1825, we have Claude Henry de Rovery, Comte de Saint Simon, was a French philosopher and theorist, born in 1760. And then in 1831, Johann Friedrich von Eschelschultz, or Eschelschultz, something, uh, died on the States. He was an Estonian German physician, botanist, and entomologist, who was born in 1793. Okay, uh, 1864, Nathaniel Hawthorne, American novelist, short story writer. 1901, Martius Wessel Pretorius, South African general and politician who was the first president of South African Republic. 1904, Yasemite Tarata, Indian businesswoman who, I mean, businessman who founded the Tata Group. <laughs> A businesswoman founding the Tata Group, that's not good. 1907, Benjamin Baker was an English engineer who designed the Fourth Bridge. I have to check that out. Well, actually, Fourth Bridge, Benjamin Baker. Uh, this guy was born in 1840, so let's see here. Benjamin Baker, Fourth Bridge. Let's take a look at this. Uh, oops, nope, images. Okay. That's a cool looking bridge. And then 1935, we have T.E. Lawrence, British colonel and archaeologist, who was born in 1888. Is this Lawrence of Arabia? Yes. Okay, Thomas Edward Lawrence, yeah. That's him. Okay. Wow. So uh, he died to date in 1935 in Bovington, United Kingdom. He was only 5'5? Five five? Dang, he was a little guy. But he, but he did so much, though. In the World War One. Oh. oh hell yeah, he did. Uh, let's now see it makes here. sense why he did all that shit. Short man syndrome. Huh. So just like Napoleon. Well, you know what they say: short people are mean because they're closer to hell. Anyway, eleven years later, in 1946, Booth Tarkenton was uh, died on the state. He was a U.S. novelist and dramatist who was born in 1869. Okay. Your turn. Eight, 1994, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, 
U.S. journalist who was the 37th First Lady of the United States. Jacqueline Ken Jackie Kennedy. Yep. Mm, 2000 to Walter Lord, U.S. historian and actor. Actor. 2008. And Arthur. Ah. 2008, Arthur. VJ Tender Lark. What? Indian playwright and screenwriter. <laughs> Tender Lark? <laughs> I'm sorry, that just sounds wrong. <laughs> 2012, Bob Boozer. Wow, I guess he was a drunk. Uh, was a U.S. basketball player who was born in 1937. I'm going to have to ask my dad about that guy. Was he a drunk? 2014. Ooh, actually, hold on a second. Uh, I asked somebody earlier how he would pronounce that. So he said, uh, Big New Pete Zitowski uh, was a Polish boxer who was born in 1934. And then uh, 2015, we have Happy Rockefeller, who was a U.S. philanthropist, socialite, and 30 se 31st Second Lady of the United States, who was born in 1926. Was she really happy? I well, with a name like Rockefeller, you know they have all the money in the world, so you know, money does buy happiness. But money doesn't buy a boner. <laughs> money buys cola. I, I can't I can't counter your argument, dude. You just you went straight for that. <laughs> no room, just like shh, talk about. Talk about morning what? bodily functions. <laughs> let's let's try not to give uh, Google any reason to cancel us. <laughs> like... 2017 Niswara Bustafa, General Coordinator of the Movement for Change, Goran. Hmm. 2017. Dan's Law Perjov, uh, Lieutenant, oh, Lieutenant Colonel of the Soviet Air Defense Forces. Dang. And that concludes the show. Once again, check the underbar in the description for any links that you may be interested in, which also includes... Going TV on Twitch. And everything Omni Coalition. For your dose of past events daily, we stream every day between 12 noon and 3 p.m. Pacific. Even though yesterday I said we were going to start streaming at 3 normally, but, uh... I don't know anymore. We'll just stream anytime between 12 and 3. Whatever. Anyway, for all of you and all of us, uh, um, oh, before that, uh, what else, uh, what time is that in Central? 2 to 5 Central. Yeah. For all of you and all of us, I am Xander. I'm me. And you are you, and until you see us tomorrow, don't forget to look right and left at every intersection, rate five thumbs, and subscribe. Until then, toodles. Let's go, Brandon. Mm-hmm.